What's up, everyone? My name is Paxton Elrod. I'm here with Jared Schuster, Bryce Elder, and Jesse Franklin, the Braves' newest draft picks. Hey, guys, what's up? How's it going? How you doing? Hey. Uh, we're, just, we're just hanging out. I want to dive right in. I want to ask each of you guys what it's been like so far. I'm sure it's been an absolute whirlwind. It's been awesome. Uh, for all of us, I feel like getting drafted is a dream, so it's been really exciting for me and my family. It's been nuts uh, seeing old coaches reach out and uh, old uh, parents, friends, and old friends. It's uh, really uh, awesome to see. It's, it's been good. You know, a lot of support being shown from my hometown and people in Austin. Um, it's, uh, it's something I've looked forward to for a long time, and uh, I'm ready for it to get going, even though we really don't know when it's going to start for us. Hey, that's the beauty of it. Some shock and, you know mystery adds some excitement to life but so I want to ask each of you guys um I want you to walk me through your journey and your path to kind of getting to this dream come true because I'm sure all of you have had this since you know you picked up a bat and a glove for the first time so Jared if you want to start oh uh, yeah sure I started playing baseball when I was around six years old and uh, my dad uh, introduced me to the game and ever since then I've, I really loved it um, I played basketball as, to, as well growing up and but I always knew I loved baseball and um, uh, played travel ball uh, when I was younger and I uh, got recruited to play at Wake Forest and uh, that was a perfect fit and I had a lot of good times at Wake Forest, good development there and uh, led me to uh, get drafted by the Braves. Yeah, awesome. pretty similar for me. Uh, played a lot of sports growing up in high school, uh, soccer and football and basketball. And, uh, yeah, I never really thought about going to Michigan, but a uh, uh, coach reached out, and I really liked him and the other coach, coaches um, and got to play there and get better and go to the College World Series and then get drafted by the Braves. So it's been awesome. Uh, for me, growing up, I uh, played baseball when I was really young. I actually quit baseball and picked up golf. Um, I thought I wanted to play golf in college. Um, I got a new coach in high school um, my sophomore year that, that uh, would let me – be a pitcher only and go play golf after I get my throwing in. Um, so I started doing that and um, got recruited by, just by Texas and one other school. Was, Texas has always been my dream school. Um, I, I thank them for the opportunity and, and the way it worked out. And then um, this, this past month, it, it all ended up working out and getting to play for the Braves. So Bryce, I want to piggyback off of what you just said. You know, you grew up in Texas and you said Texas has always been a dream school. I'm sure. I mean, was it kind of like – going to school in your hometown, like, or was it a completely different world once you got to the university? Um, it was quite a bit different. Um, I mean, my town is only like 7,000 people. Um, and so small town Texas is a lot different than Austin. Um, but the people down there are very good people. They're very welcoming. And um, it, it was a really good fit for me. And I loved every minute of it. Jesse, now, how did you end up at Michigan? Because you grew up in Seattle, correct? So that's like, across the country <laughs> well, I always I always kind of wanted to go somewhere out of the northwest um but I went to PG National in Fort Myers and um and then like during a rain delay during one of the games coach Backage, who's the head coach at Michigan called me and um I had I had like some other options but none of them really felt felt right so it was just random never thought about going to the Big Ten Crazy. And Jared, did you always know you wanted to go to Wake Forest or was that kind of a random stumble upon as well? Uh, well, I always knew I wanted to go like down south and play in the ACC or SEC or a uh, good conference. Uh, and I had some teammates on my travel team that were already uh, Wake recruits. So uh, at one of the tournaments, one of their coaches was there and he saw me play and um, it was a perfect fit. Love that. And so, Jared, you went 25th overall. What was that experience like leading up to that moment? I'm sure it was pretty emotional for you. Yeah, it was really exciting. Um, like I said earlier, it's been a dream of mine to be picked. And, um, yeah, it was a really exciting time. I had some family over that night, and uh, we were hoping to get uh, picked that night, and luckily we did. So it was really, really cool. I love that. And so don't be freaked out by this statement, but – I may have like looked at all of y'all's social media. I mean, I work in social media, so it's like kind of part of my job. Jared, you posted a photo with Clayton Kershaw on social media a while ago. Don't judge me. But <laughs> I wanted to ask a question to all of you guys. Is, would you say that there is a certain player in the bigs right now that you, or 
past that you kind of model your game off of? Um, I mean, I like Clayton Kershaw. Just, I mean, he's a lefty. He's had a lot of success, so I like watching him. But I feel like uh, Cole Hamels, he, he, already, he plays for the Braves right now. Um, I think me and him uh, have similar repertoires, so he's a, like, a guy I like to watch a lot. Love that. And uh, I, my, my favorite player growing up was actually Adrian Beltre, and he doesn't even play. He plays infield, and I play outfield. But uh, he was on the Mariners when I was a bigger fan, a big fan. And uh, I just liked like how much fun he has playing the game, and how he's always messing around with the other infielders and the pitchers, and like, um, like swinging on one knee. It just seems like he's playing free. Uh, for me, um, I think if anybody, I really like watching Jake Arrieta. Just a sinker slider guy, and enjoy how he has to pitch even though his stuff is really really good he's still kind of uh, it's kind of a hard out there and I, I really enjoy watching him pitch so all three of you were drafted out of college obviously um and this year was a lot different I would say than any other year you played in college what was it like um not being able to play your junior year leading up to the draft Bryce you can start um, it was very tough um you know when we got the call that the college series has been canceled we were actually in practice and you know, there was some, like, thoughts of, like, well, like, what's going to happen next? You know, we, and kind of everybody thought that the season would end up being canceled. Um, and, you know, it's kind of just a shock at first. I really didn't set in. Um, you know, I mean, even throughout the whole draft process, to me, it really didn't set in until, like, I, I was like, all right, Braves draft me, I'm in. And then that's when it kind of set in. It was tough. Um, like I said, I, I love Austin. I love that place. Um, a lot of good people down there that helped me out along the way. But um, it, it was for sure tough. It, it was not – what I saw planned at all. Yeah, uh, yeah, it wasn't the same. Same. I was. I wasn't ready as much really either. Uh, last year we got to go to like the regionals, and uh, some of the guys got drafted uh, like around the team. Like right after a game, they were outside the bus and got the calls in front of the whole team. So I was really hoping it could be some some like that. But um, yeah, it was definitely really weird. Not not how not how it was planned, but uh, really thankful it happened. Uh, yeah, it definitely sucked uh, for, I mean, all of us. I know a lot of teams worked really hard to have a good season and felt bad for all the coaches to uh, see see um, the season get canceled. Um, I know uh, us at Wake, uh, this year is supposed to be our year. We had a lot of good uh, juniors uh, that were pro prospects and um, we're ready to have a big year. So uh, it's really unfortunate that the way it ended up. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so I'm going to kind of shift off of that somber note. Um, all three of you played in Cape Cod last summer, which congratulations. That's a very big honor to be picked for those teams. Um, did you guys know each other like prior to this Zoom call? Like, did you play each other up in the Cape? I don't think so. I wasn't up there very long. I got to my innings limit. Um, I don't know Jesse at all. I feel like uh, one of my really good buddies from Cape Cod, it's Will Fleming. It's one of Jared's really good buddies. Um, but other than that, I, I did, I've i never even seen him in person, I guess, so until now on the camera. Yeah, uh, I know I couldn't – I was trying to remember if I'd faced either of them. Um, and I just – because you were uh, – Jared, you were on um, – you are on Orleans, right? Yeah, I was on Orleans. Um, uh, I don't think I pitched against you guys. Yeah, I can't remember. Everyone has, like, similar-looking lefties and, like, I don't know. But we played against each other, I think. Uh, yeah, I think uh, Bryce might have pitched against us when he was pitching for Warham, but I never met, got a chance to meet him. Which is really crazy because I feel like the baseball world, out of, out of all of the other sports worlds, are it would probably be one of the most connected ones. So the fact that you three were – in Cape Cod, you didn't necessarily play against each other, and now you're all drafted to the Braves. Mm -hmm. Kind of strange. All right, this is my last question, and it's specifically for Jesse. Um, once again, don't be weirded out. But I was on social media and noticed um, you cutting a tree with a chainsaw. Are you into chainsaw carvings, or is like, like, are you just like an outdoorsy guy? <laughs> I had to ask. No. Uh... My family, we have a cabin, like, up in the, in the mountains, and that's why, I, like, growing up, I used to ski a lot, and uh, there were just some, like, dead trees behind the house that we had to cut down because they were going to, like, get on power lines and stuff, and so we cut them down with chainsaws and, like, 
this kid got a cool picture so i had to throw you it just out. you're creating content i mean i gotta respect it i gotta respect it you guys i'm expecting something super outdoorsy from you too as well okay well i mean he hunts things at night so i'm i'm waiting for something like that yeah what what's up with that why am i not seeing that i i don't know what people are gonna think i i do it quite often but you're modest yeah yeah i just i'm not a big social media poster but i don't know we'll see if we we really get into him one night i might have to <laughs> i mean you might have to it's probably some pretty good content and hey the braves are gonna love you guys i'm really really happy that i got a chance to talk to all of you guys on zoom i hope you all are staying safe out there and i look forward to seeing you guys in the future